the discussion got to be have of you basically trying to be another nigga so bad that you become that nigga. What the fuck? Hey, who posted this shit, bro? Who posted this shit, bro? Apollo with the busted lip, my nigga. No way, bro. I said that was a secret. What is wrong with y'all? Oh my god, man. Y'all <laughs> y'all be taking y'all be taking stuff too far. Why, bro? I can't I can't wait to see what that says, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Back to this. It got me way off track, bro. Alright, alright. Uh Almighty Speaks. Let's get him. <laughs> no way, bro. The fact that you try to be another nigga so bad got to be the most enticing, interesting thing in the entire world, bro. I feel like every YouTuber, which of course, I don't think you guys know this, but every YouTuber, and it's suggested to do this, every YouTuber starts out basically saying like, hey, copy somebody else for like the first month that you're learning how to do YouTube, bro. That's how you'll see a lot of people basically copy, you know, the releases and stuff because they are trying to find their way inside this game so they're copying them until they find their own style i've seen that suggested by so many of the higher up people like basically hey look copy them until you find your own style and then make it into your own basically thing like start doing whatever the fuck you think you need to do bro sneeko took that whole thing and he's still trying to be andrew tate bro still to this day it's not good bro like he is literally just trying to become that nigga. Andrew Tate is still in jail, and that nigga's probably, he's never getting out. Let's go ahead and just face the facts right here, bro. Like, that nigga's never getting out of fucking jail. He's tried, like, I think, he's gotten denied, I think, five times. Like, he submitted the fucking claim, and then he got denied over and over and over and over. He's never getting out of jail, bro. Romania is not letting that nigga out. The second he gets out, he's dipping off and all going off the fucking grid immediately i mean that nigga basically said i have cancer and they still didn't let that nigga out so he, he's stuck in there there is a power vacuum now that he's taken out of the game so you're gonna see a lot more of these niggas that were a little less than he was act even more like him so they can try to take over that fucking area it happens in every facet of life like whenever something gets taken out Everything else that's smaller will try to fill up that hole immediately and crowd the fucking place up. Like, imagine if YouTube just deleted itself, like, for no reason. YouTube just deleted itself. Imagine all the other recording software, all the other uploading spots. They would then be like, hey, come here, come here, come here. It would be like a fucking, uh, those porn ads you see. Like, hey, click right here, click right here. Hey, we want you more over here. Hey, click right here. We want you a bigger dick. Like, it's just fucking crowds the entire fucking area up, bro. And Sneeko is trying to become a million times more than he actually is in real life you gotta understand that these content creators you're watching we all know this but it's exaggerated bro like Corey said it best Corey was like i'm Corey kitchen inside these videos i'm my own person inside real life like there's a fucking a split bro sneaker don't act like that in real life that's the scary part is he's trying to become this persona that he once never was. If you go watch his ass back in like the old Mr. Beast videos, that nigga didn't act like that. He just acted like a normal civilian ass nigga. Now it's like he has to constantly made it be made that he's homophobic. He has to constantly made it aware that he's transphobic. He has to constantly made it aware that he don't fuck with the entire LGBTQ, that men are superior and all that shit. And the thing is, my nigga, you know he doesn't fucking feel that way because everything that he's preaching is like the last notch of what it should be like of course like in politics you have like far right and far left he's far right and fucking masculinity like he's going crazy with every single take that he has because that's the only thing that sells inside that fucking manosphere if i were to go in the manosphere right now and be like yeah i mean I, I believe in equal rights nigga nobody's listening to that bullshit bro but if you go over there and say like, hey bro women need to stay inside the fucking kitchen their entire goddamn life I'm going to be provided for this family and you better not leave that shit because you need to provide for me so that I can provide for you. Nigga, I'm booming, bro. I'm going crazy in the fucking manosphere. You got to say the most outlandish take of what you actually believe just so niggas will get that game. Hey, hey, let me see what the fuck you talking about. Click on this shit and go watch that shit. And because there's people inside the world that actually genuinely believe that shit. They don't get any pussy, but they believe that shit. Sneeko is just, I don't know, I think Moist Critical just uploaded a video like five minutes ago basically tearing this nigga apart. I'm about to go watch that shit, bro. 
Let me know what the fuck you feel about Sneeko and how you feel about just the whole Manosphere as a whole, bro. Because it's, it's, it's insane now. It's insane now. It's, it's getting worse. It hasn't even peaked yet. Like, it's still just surpassing levels that niggas never thought it would. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for your means. I wish at least wish them well. And I'll see y'all niggas next video. Peace.